Hello and welcome back to the Efficient Skillet. My name is Willie and I hope that you're doing extremely well out there. I know that I am. Today's cooking video is brought to you in part by the Sweatshop Gym in Livingston. Free weights, machine weights, treadmills, ellipticals, tanning, infrared sauna, best parking, lots of room, amazing aerobics instructors, highly affordable. Click the Sweatshop Gym ad on our top headlines page. Today I'm going to show y'all how to make a Southern classic, a gorgeous and delicious pecan pie. So when it comes to making a gorgeous and delicious Southern pecan pie, the first thing we have to do is make our crust. Now what I've got in here is two cups of all-purpose flour and what we're going to add to that is a pinch of salt. And then what we have to add to it is 10 tablespoons of real butter. Now, butter comes in sticks like this, and I also make my own butter, but for precision measuring like this right here, like tablespoons and stuff, this butter has little tablespoon marks. Each stick has eight tablespoons, and this, uh, this, one, this recipe calls for 10 tablespoons, so you got eight and then cut two from another stick of butter, and then that gives you 10 tablespoons. Okay, so but what you want to do is uh, chop this butter into little cubes before we put it in there and I'll show you how to do that, what works for me. So uh, take your butter and then just cut it down the middle like that and then just chop it like this and that's how you get your tin I mean, that's how you get your cubes of butter to add to this. And we're gonna take this and we're just gonna let this sit out a little too long, but that's okay. Throw that in there. All our little cubes of butter, put them into the flour. And then what we're gonna do is just put our hands in here and just start mixing this butter in with this flour. Mix this butter with this flour until it gets about like this right here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take two egg yolks. And what you wanna do is take um, four tablespoons of cold water and add it to the egg yolks. want to kind of whip it together a little bit then take half of your your egg yolks and water add about half of it to the flour and then take a fork and just start kind of stirring it around in there mixing it about like that and then take the other half and throw it in and mix it. This is going to become our crust made from scratch. Now, as you can see, if you grab up some of this, you can see our, our crust has now become uh, pretty doughy. So what we wanna do now is take this and dump it out onto our, in my case, I'm using a pastry mat here. And we're going to dump this out. And then we just want to, don't want to over mix or anything, but we just want to sort of press it into a nice thing of dough. Work it a little bit, and then we're just going to press it into a ball of dough. And then we're going to wrap it in plastic and refrigerate it for 30 minutes. And I think that'll work right there. So take your dough, wrap it in plastic. And we're gonna refrigerate this for 30 minutes. While our crust is chilling for 30 minutes in the refrigerator, it's the perfect time to make our pecan pie filling. And so the first thing you wanna start out with is two cups of pecan halves, two cups, 
And then we're gonna put three quarters of a cup of Cairo syrup in here or corn syrup. Don't get the dark kind, get the light colored kind. It'll say light corn syrup on there. So we're gonna put in three quarters of a cup of light corn syrup. Add three eggs. We're gonna add one cup of sugar. Hey, it's pecan pie, man. It's supposed to be sweet. We're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. I got the really nice pure kind from Mexico. And then last and definitely not, not least, two tablespoons of melted real butter. It's gonna take a whisk and blend all this together. This will be our filling for our pecan pie. You see how easy that was? Easy peasy, man. And this will be our pecan pie filling. Our crust has been chilling for about 30 minutes in the refrigerator. We're just gonna dust our pastry mat with a little bit of flour. And we're gonna take our crust, plop it out there, put a little bit of flour onto there. And then we just start rolling it out into a, a crust high crust. It's going to want to break up on you and all that kind of stuff at the corners. Just work with it. Once you have your dough rolled out pretty big, what you want to do is just take your rolling pin and just kind of roll that dough up on that pin. Got to watch it a little bit. This crust will want to tear on you because it's fragile. There we go. Just roll it up on that pin like that. Then take your pie plate, place it down here, and then just unroll that crust right onto that pie plate, like that. Next thing we want to do is just start pressing this, working it gently. Remember, the, the, at this point, the crust is fragile. So work with it. Press it down in there. There goes my stupid cell phone. It almost went off. That was kind of weird. Work it down. You don't have to grease your pie plate because all this butter, this crust is not going to stick. So no worries. Once you get your crust work down in there, the next thing you want to do is trim all this excess off. Uh, scissors works real good for me. Leave, leave, a, leave a little bit hanging out because you want to shape your crust a little bit on the outer edges to for uh, to make it look really nice. So leave a little bit on there and trim off the excess crust. And then you just want to start shaping that crust around the edges. If you have a spot like this right here where I accidentally trimmed a little bit too much, just take a little bit of that extra dough down there that you trimmed off and plop it up there. All right, so what we want to do is make our crust look pretty now. And, you know, I'm not exactly uh, an artist, okay? But what works good for me is take a finger and go like that right there. What we want to do now is bake this pie crust at 350 for 350 degrees for 10 minutes. But before we put it in the oven, in order to keep, when you, when you pre-bake a pie crust, the middle has a tendency to want to bubble up on you. So the way you fix that is you put you some parchment paper inside your pie crust like this. And then you take some dry beans and put it in there. And that provides the weight to keep it pressed down. In this case, I'm using pinto beans. Use whatever beans you want. Okay, so into the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Okay, our uh, crust has been baking in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes, so now we're gonna remove our pinto beans. There we go. And next we're going to take our filling that we prepared earlier, the pecans and the corn syrup and all that stuff, and we're gonna pour it right into there. And once you pour it in there, your pecans that's all in that mixture, just kind of 
make sure it's evenly dispensed around in there. Having done that, we're gonna return it to the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Whoa, pardon me, I almost forgot. Before you put it in the oven, what you wanna do is take, uh, I get these pecans at HEB, and they're like five something a bag, so they're a little high, but that's how pecans are. But what you wanna, and these are half the whole pecans, whatever. So what you wanna do, is before you put it in the oven, unlike me. But anyway, it was in there a few minutes, but what you wanna do is take these pecans and just put them in there like this right here and go all the way around your pie with them. Now what this is gonna do is this gonna make this, this putting these pecans in here like this is gonna really make, it's gonna make your uh, pecan pie just look absolutely gorgeous. Okay, with your pecans beautifully placed on top of your pie into the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and the last step of this is what you wanna do is take your pie and cover it with aluminum foil. Ouch, it's hot. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cover your pie with aluminum foil and return it to the oven this time for 40 minutes. This is the last step of the process. Okay, it's been 40 minutes now and here is our pecan pie complete. And there it is. Uh, I've let my pecan pie cool for about 30 minutes. And uh, one, one reason you want to let it cool, not only is it too hot to eat, but when it first comes out of the oven, it's molten, literally molten hot inside that pecan pie. And by letting it cool, it allows that pecan pie to set. So you have that firmness. And have you ever seen a pecan pie? Uh, most of us probably have where you cut into it and when you take a slice out, you have that gooey liquid all over the bottom of the pie pan. That won't happen with this. With this pecan pie, everything stays where it's supposed to be. It's the proper firmness. So let's cut into this pecan pie and see what it's all about. Now with this pecan pie, you'll notice uh, how you got your, all these pecans on top. And then down below, you got that classic brown, gooey, heavenly gooey sweet part that we love just so much. And it's it's one of the great things uh, about a pecan pie. It's it's kind of a pride thing, I think, in my opinion, with, with us Southerners. A pecan pie is kind of a Southern thing. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous piece of pie. It's, it's just a great dessert. So let's take a bite of this and see what it's all about. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You know, for those of you who don't know how to do this, I'm glad that I can pass this on to you, how to make a picture-perfect, gorgeous, and top-of-the-line, as far as taste and texture and everything else, pecan pie. 
That's a that, that's about as good as a dessert gets is pecan pie. I could almost make them just do pecan pie for my main course. It's so good. So anyway, we hope you try it and we hope you like it. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button below. If you want to leave any comments, feel free to comment below. And you can email us, efficientskillet at gmail.com. Make America great again.